Lately, we've talked about an increase in the number of cases of COVID-19 in kids, and this is as many of them are preparing to return to school. But kids, and especially teenagers, are facing another risk as far as COVID-19. There's a new study out this week, and it's the first to link vaping and smoking in that age group to an increased risk for COVID-19. So our nine health expert, Dr. Powell Coley, joins us now to break down the numbers and what it means for kids and parents. So Dr. Coley, what have we learned from this study? Tell us about it. So Tom, this was a very compelling study coming out of Stanford Medical School that looked at 4,351 adolescents and they were surveyed during the month of May of this year. And they were asked about their vaping habits and this was then correlated with the risk of contracting COVID-19. And the findings were very dramatic. So if you've ever used any e-cigarettes or vaping products, your risk for contracting COVID-19 was increased five-fold. And if you've used these vaping products or cigarettes or both within the last 30 days, your risk was increased seven-fold. And this was after adjusting for other factors like how much spread there was occurring in the community, how much contact these individuals had, what their age was, what their gender was. And what we found was that it was not just an increased risk of catching COVID, but there was also an increased risk of having symptoms from COVID. So we are five times as likely to have symptoms from COVID. And this is just a very compelling association that has come out of this study. It doesn't reach a conclusion, though, but you start to speculate about uh, damage to your lungs, damage to your, your breathing system. Exactly right, Tom. I mean, that's the most obvious explanation for this association because we know that smokers and those who use nicotine products can have damage to the innate immunity of their lungs. So our, our lungs are our first line of defense because they interact with the environment. They have little cilia or hair on their cells that can clear away particles. We know smokers have damage to that. They also produce mucus in order to clear particles and trap viruses. We know smokers have abnormal mucus production and we know that smokers can also have trouble clearing their secretions. That's the obvious explanation for this association, but there's also some that are a little less intuitive. So for example, when you vape, you're bringing your hand close to your mouth very often. So it's, it's the hand mouth connection that can cause this problem. And then at the same time, you could be sharing your vaping products with others, and that could be part of the problem as well. And then finally, when you vape, you also generate aerosols. So you could be actually causing more spread of the virus because you're creating smaller particles in your droplets. And so if somebody has coronavirus and is vaping, they could be spreading it more efficiently to others. Yeah, when we talk about that spreading and creating aerosol and viral droplets, as we always do, it seems like, but you, we use the term cohorting as a positive thing in schools, but you tend to think as people who may vape, may vape together as well. They may also have a negative impact form of cohorting as, in their own right. That's absolutely right. That's an excellent observation. And that's exactly what these scientists think is propagating some of these associations. And if you look back at some of the data from 2017, 26% of high school kids in Colorado had said that they had used e-vaping or e-cigarettes within the last 30 days. So if you think about the study and put it in context, one out of four teenagers seems to have used vaping products at some point in their life or within the last 30 days. Most parents should really be proactive about talking to their kids, whether they've currently vaped or may vape in the future or vaped in the past, about this association because it's not intuitive and kids often think vaping is innocuous. And I think it's difficult many times for parents to reach their kids when talking about vaping or smoking, but in the lens of a COVID-19 pandemic, it might be a better time to reach out and maybe connect with your kids. So uh, good, uh, very interesting study. And thanks for helping uh, break it down for us a little bit. Dr. Paul Coley, we'll talk to you again soon.